Hey guys, what is going on? It's Lightning Fox HD, and we're back in Dark Souls 1 once again. It has been forever and a long, long time since we were in Dark Souls 1. What are we going to call this guy? We're going to call him Chump Zilla. This guy is going to be the Godzilla of Chumps. <laughs> he can be Chumpzilla the Fourth. <laughs> right. It's going to be a guy. He is going to be a sorcerer, I think. Oh, pyromancer. I want to do a magic playthrough this time. Um, intelligence 10 or intelligence 15. Vitality 10. Vitality 8. Achievement 15. Achievement 15 is probably going to be better. Pyromancer starts at level 1. You would have thought that I would have known that. I didn't. Uh, strength 8, strength 12. It looks like the pyromancer is probably going to be better. The intelligence is only a little bit lower. And we'll be able to upgrade that straight away anyway. And he gets the cool hand axe. Or I guess we could be a cleric. That's a uh, faith though. So, no, we'll go with pyromancer for now then. <laughs> uh, let's take the master key. Let's be slim. <laughs> let's let's have a face. This guy always makes us happy every time I see him. We'll be this guy. Give him some hair. And guys, leave a like on this video if you enjoy it. This is another brand new series that we're starting here. And no, thank you. <laughs> that one actually looked okay. Yeah, why not? And yeah, if you enjoy it, then leave a like and it'll help me out no end. And it'll let us know that you're enjoying what I'm doing. Let's go light brown. Uh, I'm not going to customize them any more than that. And yeah, if you do want to be informed when the next episode goes live, don't forget to drop a subscribe. And again, that helps me out a lot as well. Let's go! I'm not going to be doing the cutscenes. Because we've seen them. And this playthrough is probably going to take a little while to get back used to because I have played Dark Souls 2 relatively recently, um, which is a completely different game, <laughs> as you well know. <laughs> right. So we've got Fireball. Do we have a Pyromantic Love? We, may be, we might not get that right at the start. I think the controls are just exactly the same, aren't they? I'm like, I'm thinking, wait a second, what do I need to relearn here? <laughs> and I think what I'll do with this playthrough is um, take it into New Game Plus afterwards as well. If a lot of people watch this video, if a lot of people like it, then um, yeah, we'll make this a really long series because I have a lot of subscribers who don't watch the sort of Call of Duty videos that I do. And I realized today that you know, the chances are they're probably missing Dark Souls. And I don't really want to play Dark Souls 2 because I'm not the biggest fan in the world of Dark Souls 2. It's not a bad game. It's just not as good as Dark Souls 1. And I think it's going to be cool getting back into uh, the awesomeness of Dark Souls 1. I won't equip that. Not there, though. That is not where it goes. These menus are... Confusing. Uh, there we go. The timing on the jump. Can we get a backstab on this guy? Come here, you. Bosh! Six damage. Go tell your friends. I've arrived. No. That's not what we do here. We do not do that here. Um. Let me equip my hand axe. There we go. Right, yes, wrecking fools with the hand axe, nice. And I quite like this pyromancer outfit, looking cool. I do miss the uh, cloth physics of Dark Souls 2 though. <laughs> and I'm playing this offline at the moment. Wow, the lag is strong because my Xbox Live Gold expired and I decided not to buy it back just yet. Uh, so I won't be getting invaded or anything like that. And it also means that I won't be Yes! Regrettably, 
getting any help with any of the bosses, which could make things difficult because I'm not the best Dark Souls player that ever existed. <laughs> Farewell, my friend. The lag, dude. The lag. I forgot about that. Get backstabbed. If you've played Dark Souls 2 recently and then you play Dark Souls 1, the backstabs are so easy. <laughs> wow! We took off. Right, I think this is the Pyromancy Glove, isn't it? Yes, Pyromancy Flame, that's what it's called. Let's equip that now. In this one, there's a dude coming for us because he doesn't like us. Let's try and do a parry. Whoa, too early. Yes! That's something that I could not do in Dark Souls 2. I missed the parries. Come on, Mr. Hollow. Monsieur Le Hollow. Get a backstab. Yes. Smash. And already I can tell that I'm going to have a lot of fun playing Dark Souls 1 again. It's just... Uh, I think a lot of people at the moment probably think, oh, Dark Souls 2 is the more, the more current game. But in all honesty, Dark Souls 1 is the... Whoa, this shield does not do 100% block. <laughs> God. Gonna have to learn the, the parry times. You died! So there goes the no death run. It's all good. We're just getting back into it. And it's not something that I'm going to stress out over, to be honest with you. <laughs> Jumped into that one. Helped him out. Come back here, you. Get a backstab. Yes. What did you drop? A short bow. Wow. I didn't know you could get a short bow that early. We're learning new stuff. And I'm clicking the uh, analog stick to jump. Man. I'm going to be quite confused for some of this playthrough. Right. We're going to need to try and find a 100% um, block shield because this one's rubbish. I do like to block things. Let's say... Uh, oh, wrong one. There it is. Let's try setting some stuff on fire. Wow, the wind-up time on that is crazy. Boom, get fired. <laughs> Alan Sugar. Right. Health. Something just went explode. And I don't know what it was. Backstab you in the back. You, I'm coming for you. I've got your number, mate. Go around behind you and backstab you. Dude, are you for real? It's so hard when you start out. Because uh, this should not be an issue. <laughs> what is actually happening in the world? Ah, that's how you kick. Can we do jumping attacks? Apparently not. But we broke his guard there. That was cool. Come on, man. What are you doing, Estus and up? We don't Estus up. Right, cool. That's that done. And I think that shaking might be this dude in here. Let's traverse the white light. Yeah, that was spectacularly bad. <laughs> right. Got the music turned off. Right. Fire. Yes, he's weak to fire. Oh, and I'm weak to hammer blows. Cool. Can we get it from here? Yes. Let's do a gesture. <laughs> I thought that was wave. Never mind. <laughs> right, to Firelink Shrine we go. To Medulla we don't go. And I'm going to pick up the soul thingy that's uh, 
down this one, is it? Yeah. Soul of the Lost. Demon Souls is the hardest. Demon Souls is so ridiculously hard, it's crazy. Yes! Skip that cutscene. Skip that cutscene, soldier boy. Right. Let's sit down at the bonfire. Let's level up with our points. We want to put them into... Um... Um... Which one do you put it into to increase... You know, I'm going to put it into intelligence. Because then I can do soul arrow and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Because this is going to primarily be uh, once I'm in a position to be able to use um, spells and stuff effectively. It's going to be a, a magic playthrough. Because that's not something that I usually do and why not? Why not? Let's do something that we don't usually do. Get out of our comfort zone. And um, have some fun. Means we're probably going to roll with the uh, hand axe. I was going to say fire axe. What? Let's use the fire axe, dude. Let's pick up some stuff from down here. Hello. I Petrus. That's what you're called. Hello. I, but I here. Yeah. No. Thanks for the copper coin. Oh, um, oh, I have. So what would that? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Very well. Yeah, okay. Whoa! We are now in a covenant. Now only. Right. What do you sell? What are you selling? They're all miracles. Give us your gesture. Right, so miracles aren't what we want at the moment. Break all of these pots and vases and stuff. Okay, so onwards we shall travel towards here. And you know what? I think I'm actually going to... Let's do something radical. Let's take that off there and put it on here. I feel more comfortable when I can just press right to get the um, pyromancy flame. Rather than having to press left and lose my shield. Morning star and talisman. That dude was trying to sell us a talisman. Cracked red eye orbs. That'll come in handy when you're playing offline. <laughs> I think this is um, Lloyd's talismans. Yes, I remember. Some cool stuff down here, but we're not going to get them at the moment because we're severely underpowered. Well, the fireball might be okay. Uh, we will get this though. Oh my god, go away, leave me. Leave me. Go away from this place. We are not friends. We do not roll. <laughs> right. We've got 10 Estus flasks. Is that because we uh, chilled at the Firelink Shrine bonfire? Whoa, that was close, man. Right. Come and have a fight. Yes! This guy wants a fight as well. Okay, calm down. Yes! The parry time is real. I miss being able to parry people. It's one of the worst things about Dark Tools too. The, the parry time is so crazy. You can't do it instinctively. Like that. Like when you can get three in a row, you know that you're, you're pretty good. But, um, four in a row, but we didn't get the, the repost. But yeah, um, Dark Souls too. The, the timing, I couldn't get my head around it. Did we knock him off the edge? Oh. Yes, five in a row. <laughs> this is probably not a massive achievement. It's just... Coming from playing Dark Souls 2, which surely is. Rat. 
I want you to be dead. Great. Be dead. Why can't we hit the rat? Why can't we hit the rat? Right. Can we have some camera, please? Haha! <laughs> okay, so the hand axe is rubbish for killing rats, apparently. <laughs> More souls for leveling up. Nice. And into... What's this area called again? Undead... Berg. Undead Berg. We knew that. Got ya. We should probably health up at some point. <laughs> Get a backstab. Cool. Nice. Doing good. In me face. That's a bit nasty. That is uncalled for. <laughs> this dude. Elite hacks. Something in here? No, there's nothing in here, is there? But there is something in this one. Yes, there is something in here. And we're pretty much just going to get to the next bonfire. And then that will be this episode. I remember this taking forever on my first playthrough. Oh, we got stunned. Bloody dragon. Whoa, dude. The jumps. Another one, yes gonna parry everybody this guy with the arrows oh that was super late and we still got it Dark Souls one for the win man this game is far superior and the shield in here could be of use to us I can't remember mm -hmm. can't be worse than the one that we've got though surely um how do you... Ah, there we go. 93. Ah, that's miles better. Cool. Whoa, nearly rolled off the edge. That would have been disastrous. Nice. Dead. And we're at the next bonfire. Spectacular. Let's level up. Use all of our soul items. What have we got? We don't need that. We don't need that. Crunch. Let's pretend they're life gems. Not really. <laughs> Did we only pick up Soul of Lost Undeads? Did we not get anything, um, like, useful? <laughs> really? Wow. Okay. Level up. Intelligence. Um... Perhaps attunement would be a good one to put up. Where's our attunement stat? Ah, there we go. So if we put it up to 14, we can have three. And then we can put up... At some point, we probably should increase... Um, strength, but... I'm not going to for now. I'm okay with that. Um, but we don't actually have any other spells at the moment, I don't think. So it wasn't necessarily vital but at least we have for the future guys if you enjoyed it leave a like wow look at that the magic number of souls perfect and uh, if you want to see more please subscribe and until next time stay awesome